Interview and Job Search Strategies at Work, Episode 25. So today I'd like to just t- talk to you about uh, the, the podcast, actually. What, what is it about? I think maybe, um, hopefully this has not gotten, maybe it's not getting talked about, but or I have not talked about it, if you will, at length. But who, who is this podcast for? It's for anybody, really. Everybody, really. It's... It's for the the high school student who is just like kind of like shy or doesn't know. Uh, maybe the high school student doesn't isn't popular or doesn't understand. You know, doesn't know uh, what they want to do. Right? Everybody. Oh yeah, they want to go to high school or college. You know, whatever. Afterwards, maybe they don't know. Um, and. Maybe they maybe they love the trades, meaning they, there's like a like a tech ed course or something where they do um, uh, electronics, you know, or anything like that. Um, I, I know high school's a lot different nowadays, right? Um, this you know the, it's more um, futuristic nowadays. Any any rate, uh, but this is what it's for, you know, just to give you some sort of like an option. You know that maybe you don't you don't hear about every day, and I can tell you that um, when you're in high school, you don't know what's going on. You have no idea what you're going to do. But people, parents, whoever, relatives think, you know, go to college or join the military or get a job or whatever, right? Well, they're different. You know, whatever you can do, whatever you want to do, right? Um, my my the hope of the podcast here is just to give you. Just to give you a perspective, really, of it. Give you a perspective of these are the type of jobs um, that are out there. These are the uh, guests that who've done those jobs. And they just explain, okay, this is the job. Uh, like NetAdmin, right? John, the other day, came on and explained NetAdmin, Network Administrator. Um, just, like, what is that like? You know, give you give an idea of what it, you know. Um, what can you expect to to do that, to, to do with the job. Who, who else is it for? It's for the 30 year old woman, man, um, father, mother, you know, it's for the 40 year old man, woman, mother, 20 year old man. It's for the 50 year old man, woman, who's, who's just starting over in their career. Like they just got laid off. They got fired. They retired, whatever. And they, and then they want to know what else can I do, you know? Because because maybe maybe they were um, twenty years or ten years or eighteen years or a retired military, retired corporate life, whatever. And and they really they kind of they did not like it, but they just said I need to need something else. I need more creative, you know. And this is just an option they can do. This through this podcast, they listen to different people what they do, and like, oh yeah, that's a good job to have. That's a good idea. Um, it's for the sixty-year-old, it's for the seventy-year-old, it's for the eighty-year-old, it's for the ninety-year-old uh, person who just like wants to do something extra, you know? Because um, because I'll tell you right, there's there's not a lot of folks out there who are it, that I've seen anyway. So other folks that are probably like um, 60 plus or 70 plus or 80 plus, I, 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 if there's an, a place out there like uh, an IT person who's like 80 years old, you know, who understands IT, that's awesome, man. They, they have a market because they can teach like other folks <laughs> how to do IT in their age bracket because I don't know if you know this or not, but um, your influence on other folks is how you interact with them. It's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a dinner table when you're talking to people. It's, it's how you explain it to them. Don't talk over their head. Um, just explain it to them how they understand, not how I understand and or how other folks understand. It's like how they understand, uh, rather it's how does that person understand or get it? You're, you're going to find when you, when you teach or when you're in it, Someone may have a uh, certification, but they they don't understand. When you become a leader, for instance, your people that you um, serve as, as a leader, they're not going to understand because 
you just have to break it down for them because how they learn is probably like me visual and do by doing and by failing. I learn by failing, by the way. I fail. Oh, that's how to do it, or that's not how to do it. But it's it's a oh okay. I've learned uh, how not to do it. Awesome. That's that's fantastic. So let me try again. That that's how I learn basically uh, a lot of a lot of things. But uh, yeah. That any rate, this is the pod. Who's the podcast is for, and um, it's not necessarily a business podcast because it's a transition, right? If if you want to do a business, great. Um, but if you're not ready yet, if if you've never had a business ever, and you know you go into business and you know get a business, great. But if you want a, an easy transition in, this is what this is about. So, for instance, you want to let's just say this. Let's let's say you you want to start an IT company, whatever that is. And you, you know, by you doing IT. You have credibility. You've done it. Um, that's that's the whole. That's why I talk about succession of of the jobs, meaning like call call center, and then from call center to uh, help desk, and then from help desk to sysadmin or junior sysadmin or ju- you know, and then to senior sysadmin to senior in- and then system engineer, or the other way where you go from call center. To um, let's see, help call center, help desk, help desk to maybe network administrator, and then on that path, network engineer, right? Or even from call center to help desk to uh, sysadmin, maybe then to D- SQL DBA, or you know Oracle or SQL, some sort of DBA, database administrator. Reason reason is because whenever you you know. Um, Though some other podcasts are great, awesome, but people aren't ready. They're, I mean, you need a you need a, um, a a method or a vehicle to get you there to the business portion. If if you haven't done it, when you get to be a business, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because imagine you're at the customer site and you haven't done things, but you have a business and it says X Y Z I T, but you haven't done those little things. You're going to miss out on that, actually. You're going to miss out on those uh, technology, meaning like if you've never installed a hard drive in a server or a computer and you go to a customer's house, um, maybe you won't know how to do it properly. You know, of course, you go out to YouTube, but, you know, little things like that. Um, that That's what you learn, right? And it, it doesn't take very long to learn that either, you know, that type of stuff. It's maybe a year, right? Um, if you start in high school, for instance, or wherever you're at in life, you, you can start early or let's say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, whatever. And then you just get those skills. Take like six months to a year. And just get those those skills needed to have some credibility. And then um, a certification will help as well, like a, like a net plus or a plus. That's pretty, pretty basic there. Well, I say basic for me, but I don't mean it in that regard. It um, See, that's another uh, idea or another reason why you break it down for people in, in their terms because when I say A plus, oh yeah, yeah, blah. But maybe for them are you even right? It's like, whoa, I don't know what that means. You know, there's all these things, you know. Um and that's a see, every cert you get, that's a that's a massive achievement, by the way. Like there there's not a lot of IT people, by the way, in the world. I don't know if you know that or not. Relative to this to the um to the to the population, you know, uh, some countries more, some countries less, but there's that, that's a skill that's um, highly high highly in demand. No matter what you see on the internet or read or whatever, um, the the reason you don't see a lot of jobs is because they're probably not going the traditional way of hiring from a job board. They're probably doing it word of mouth, so you're not going to see that job poster on their actual website itself. Maybe they don't want to pay the twenty percent or whatever it is to a recruiter, even you know. So you're not going to see that um, for that type of job. So jobs are out there; you, they're one hundred percent out there. And if um, you just make the effort known, hey, I'm looking for a job, right? You're gonna you're gonna get it one hundred percent. But back to my 
thing here was um, it's a transition pe period from A to B to C, right? So you want to go to D, which is a, or I don't know, C, let's say a business, but you're at A. And, you, you, you know, um, there's a step in pro there's a step in between to go through to get to that point, um, to get your credibility, to get your, um, your brand, if you will. Uh, and you, and you could start this at any time. It doesn't take very long either. Um, and I'll probably do another podcast and actually just explaining that portion in itself on, you know, let's say how, how, how long it takes or the steps in, uh, in between to do from, uh, from a call center to a business, you know, how long should that typically take you, uh, you know, based on my experience, basically, really, because I've done all this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't like to talk about stuff that um, I don't know about or haven't done. Um, and, you know, I, I will, but, you know, it doesn't give you any value because it, I, if I don't know it, I can't elaborate on it, right? So, um, yeah, this is just a little quick, uh, podcast uh explaining that so um you know imagine you again you're in a checkout line of life right you're in a checkout and um there's a person behind you who doesn't know what you know right and you want and you see the value in what you're doing and you know that they have the skill set or the personality uh because you can't teach personality by the way and you know they have a a good attitude like oh that person would be great working for me with me right and then you um you just try to bring them ahead with you You try to bring them with you you know and if they pass you in money you know in career that's awesome that's a reflection on you because you've mentored that person and 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 helped them on achieve that that's awesome when people achieve you've helped them achieve something you've also achieved it yourself you know you because you wow the system works i I, I, I did something and it, and it helped somebody else, you know, wow, you know, you don't do it for them, right? That's the misconcept. You don't do it for them. You're just showing them the tools and then you're guiding them along if they, if they want to, um, if, if they need guidance, if you will. Um, meaning just like it, it, guidance can be just as easy as like, you know, Hey, you want to talk about this? What you want to, uh, like you want to talk about, let's say networking, right? Like, Oh, do you want to talk about IP addresses? So this is, and you, what you do is you say like, this is how I understand IP addresses and subnetting. What, and you write it down on the board maybe, right? You spend like 30 minutes or with a person or even like a WebEx or a, a peer dot in, you know, uh, anyway. And you just explain it to them in their terms. You know, maybe do it Walmart way. Everyone knows Walmart, you know, use the Walmart method. Uh, go to Walmart, you know, much people, right? Um, however you want to explain it, I'm just giving ideas, but, uh, so that they have the aha moment, like, Whoa, wow. That's so cool. I never thought about it that way. That's spectacular. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, um, this is just a short little podcast today. Uh, appreciate everybody listening to, uh, this and have a great day.